Hi, my name is Kirsty Thompson. I'm an extended scope physiotherapist in the musculoskeletal interface service in North Staffordshire. In our clinics, we see patients with rotator cuff arthropathy, severe osteoarthritis of the gluneohumeral joint, who may not want to wish to pursue surgical intervention on their shoulder, but want to try and manage their pain more effectively. With this group of patients, we can consider a suprascapular nerve block injection. This is likely to provide them with some good temporary relief of pain, and if successful, we can then refer them onto the pain clinic for a nerve ablation. In clinical practice, there appears to be a question of which was the best local anaesthetic to use when delivering suprascapular nerve block injections. Was it lidocaine or bevivacaine? There appeared to be a difference in what services were doing too, and we didn't have a PGD in place for the local anaesthetic bevivacaine. So we wanted to explore what the literature said to see if we could help guide our practice. So we took this question to the CAT group and asked, is bupivacaine more effective at reducing pain and improving function than lidocaine when treating patients with a suprascapular nerve block injection for shoulder pain? The literature was examined over the last 10 years and the findings were that there was no clear evidence to gu guide clinicians on the dosage or type of medication to use when performing suprascapular nerve block injections. Further research is needed to find out what is the most effective medication and dosage when delivering suprascapular nerve block injections. We have since reviewed what is being used locally within our community of practice by asking our colleagues in rheumatology, pain service and radiology, which again has showed a varied standard of practice on the type of medication and the delivery method. Services may wish to consider audits of practice in the absence of any robust evidence to help understand what is more effective.